Today I want to give you a rundown of what I've done to my 351 Cleveland to convert it to a serpentine belt drive system. First thing I've got is a 3G alternator. I had it on my stock 5 liter Mustang and uh, I was able to convert it over to the 351 Cleveland as well. Uh, this bracket is widely available on the internet and eBay. Uh, it serves its function well. This is a standard rotation water pump. I did have a reverse rotation water pump for the serpentine belt system, but I felt like the water pump was not cooling as it should, so I changed back. When I changed back, I had to add an idler. This is the, the newest part of my configuration and why I have it apart. I just got finished measuring and adjusting, and uh, hopefully it will fit correctly. Uh, this is a standard 5 liter uh, power steering pump. It's a stock pump that comes on the 5 liter Mustang. Uh, no adjustments has to be made, no drilling, no nothing. The, the main customized part of this uh, system are these two brackets. This first bracket is the stock 351 Cleveland power steering pump bracket. As you can tell I've added a hole down here this hole goes to that hole down there in the power steering uh, pump bra uh, bracket from the 5 liter Mustang essentially what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to install the bolt through here lock it down and then you're going to have to trace this bolt hole here and then just simply drill it that way when it's installed I mean it looks good it functions your reservoir neck will be upward instead of to the side. Uh, I've, I've been running this particular configuration probably for, you know, a couple of months. Uh, I haven't driven the car very much because I've converted it over to fuel injection and then had it parked in the garage for the longest time. But it does work. Uh, I spun it up to 6,000 RPM, 6,500. No problems, no, no throwing the belt, no nothing. Uh, it stays on there. This is the newest part of the configuration. What this is is a also a 351 Cleveland uh, idler bracket, but I have repurposed the bracket for what I need it to do. Uh, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to elongate this hole down here in this bracket so this bolt will go through and this bolt will line up as well and go through. Otherwise, the distance between here and here is not enough for where the bracket will fit. Also, if you look here, I have a 1991 Ford F-150 idler pulley uh, installed on the bracket. Yeah, it came with a V-drive pulley on it, and uh, I removed the pulley and luckily found out the shafts that the pulleys, both pulleys ride on are exactly the same. It has a C-clip that holds it up. Hopefully the C-clip will not fail. Um, I'm going to give it a few tests before I really hammer on it to see if it'll if it will stay together. It should stay just fine because you know the, the V-belt that was on there. I'm sure it went through hell whenever the you know various Mustang drivers and Torino drivers uh, drove their vehicles uh, racing and whatnot. What you're going to have to do to get this to work, you know, my configuration may not work on your engine uh, and vice versa. For the simple fact that you have all these different water pumps, you have aluminum water pumps, you have the you know cast iron water pumps, you have some with tall bosses, some with short bosses. Uh, I've got three different water pumps for this engine and all three water pumps are different. So every time I swap one out, I have to redo you know, re, re shim everything to, to get it to work. What you see, I've got three flat washers down here that gives me enough space to push this out. And then I've got a half inch sleeve there. And as you can see, it lines the pulleys up almost perfectly. Um, I've already test fitted the belt before I changed the pump with the old pump and it, it rode right in in the area on the idler that it's supposed to ride on. The only other thing you're going to have to worry about 
and I have it covered is the water pump uh, pulley. The standard 351 Cleveland water pump pulley is a V-belt pulley. What you're going to convert to is a serpentine belt pulley. And what you will soon find out is that the bolt spacing on the shaft is different. And on my, my other video that I posted, it will show you how to re-drill the pulley uh, with the correct bolt spacing so you can use the pulley. And the whole system, you know, put the system together and you'll have a serpent working serpentine belt system on your 351 Cleveland. Feel free to ask any questions. If you need additional pictures, just ask. I'll be more than happy to get them for you. Thanks.